It's back. It's been a while. Yeah. I know. Why? I don't why? know. How to do it Tell anymore. us why, people. Well, wait, we, we're in charge of it. Yeah, we're in charge of it. Well, well, you know what? Uh, we didn't have sponsors for it, and we started to produce other shows, and it was like, all right, you know what? Instead of doing commenting on comments, I was working on- You got the second aberration. I did. So deal with it. Bam. Hmm. I'm glad you got an aberration. I'm glad I did, too. It was fun. It was fun. We may or may not be doing something else. No, maybe. that was it. Just one more last day, maybe. Just yeah. B- yeah. Maybe. Well, I wanted to get in. Well, there's already yeah. been one. Right. So you, that's... Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, but hey, we did get a sponsor. Ah, we got a sponsor. Yes, we did. Hey, we're sponsored by Ridge Wallets. So uh-huh. these are wallets for like a minimalist. So they're a front pocket wallet. And I actually really like them. My old wallet, I felt like I was carrying like a catcher's mitt around with like all this junk in it and mm. realized like how much stuff I didn't need. And I... Yeah, I like mine a lot. They're pretty diverse. Uh, I put mine in my back pocket. Yeah? Still, yeah. Because they're, they're so thin. Yeah, they are thin. Yeah. And I hardly carry anything. I mean, like, I don't really need a big wallet for anything. Yeah. But if you got them in your, you can get two and put them in each of your back pockets. You could put five now in you, your back pocket but, if you wanted. But you want to pad it up your butt a little bit, make it look like a little bit fuller. Oh, yeah. More mine, attractive. Mine's carbon fiber, so good luck uh, hurting my ass at all. Yeah, exactly. right? And uh, you can use the code NEEBS to get 10% off uh, with free worldwide shipping. Mm. Links in the description. That's Thank wor- you, Ridge Wallets. It's Thank worth you. it just for the shipping alone. Boom. <laughs> shipping. It pays for itself. <laughs> Shi- it shipping. really does. The shipping I just want for- the shipping. Yeah. yeah. Shipping's, <laughs> this is a fact. Shipping on something like this, usually five to $10,000. See, yeah, it's, a, it's a fact. Yeah. It really is. It's unfortunate, though. Crazy. Yeah. You can sell the shipping on eBay for at least 15 grand. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. yeah. Commenting on comments. Yeah. I mean, That's I don't know. Uh, we, we didn't know we were going to record this today until today. So we all just picked them. Yeah. Who wants so, to go first? I have so many good comments at home. I know you I do. Was wait, I know this was spur Next of the time. moment, but man. Next time. Well, why don't you start it? Is that easy for you? You want to start the two comments or do you want to do the at the end? It's up to you. I'll go. And there I've got go. six, so I'm uh, some of your bunch. slack. I only found three. Oh, I did this for, oh boy, so that canceled that out real quick. Well, we've missed all of you, by the way. Thank yeah, you we for have coming missed back. Everyone. Yeah. So these are uh, two comments I found last minute. Um, let's see, from our last Arc Aberration video. This one's from Lucky Craig, and his comment is, uh, Wait, how are comments one day old? Just got this notification. Something weird happened with YouTube. Like, like Simon, when we upload a video, it's usually you upload it beforehand, make sure everything's good, it's private, no one can see it until yep. we release it. I'm looking at Simon's video, which was uploaded, you know, a day or two before it goes live, and it's like five comments, 13 likes, five dislikes. And it wasn't like that until after I scheduled it, but I don't have no idea. It was very strange. YouTube's been acting weird lately because mm-hmm. it did. Uh, when I was trying to upload something, it was uh, it, it wasn't processing right for a little while. Finally got there, and then the other day, I clicked um, a, a guy I like watching on YouTube is the Jim uh, Jim Sterling, the Jim Quisition. It's like a gaming show, but I clicked on his video and it was like, you need to pay to watch this, and he's completely funded on Patreon. Like he doesn't even run YouTube ads, so it was like. What the hell? I know that's not right. Yep. And so I just refreshed it, and then it was fine. Hmm. But that was a weird error to get from YouTube. Like, you got to pay to watch this. Wasn't it last week YouTube was down for, like, oh yeah, two hours or something? Yeah, yeah I think we were working. Yeah, kind of nuts. A, I think it was on a Thursday. or Yeah, I think it might have been during the stream. I don't know. Well, you know, I'd be interested to, to hear from the five people who I didn't take note on who they were, who commented. Like apparently, you know, the, you couldn't see the comments, but then when the video became live, and I'm going back to aberration, when the video became live, then those comments showed up again. So I haven't seen which ones they are, but it'd be nice to hear how they got notified. You know, like those particular people. Yeah. Did you know, YouTube did they get a notification? Out? Did they happen to be on the channel? I don't know. I mean, how do we figure it out? I don't know. Yeah. Well, their whole no- notification system's still stupid. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, insane. Constantly, still, people unsub, people not getting notifications. It's crazy. Right. My next comments from Liam Hoyle, same video. Liam says, when you guys go to the new map, can you make new characters or at least reset the level of your current characters? It's nice seeing you guys actually vulnerable again instead of being max level from the start. 
I get that it takes longer this way, but it is a lot more fun to watch for me at least. Love you all and wish you the best of luck on Extinction. And I can't wait to see the new map. Is that is that possible in well, Ark? Well, what we did, I, I thought when we went from uh, we, Scorched Earth to Ragnarok, we basically we reset our characters. But we like were we, still level one hundred. Were we? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. We had all the strengths and uh, we had all the Ingrams that Man. we could dedicate. I wish we could keep the way our characters looked. And that's yeah. it. Can can we keep the look, but take away all the Ingrams, yes. all the strengths? Oh, um, I think you can save your. And I'm not sure, but I'll I'll take a look at. You can save your character. Um, you can save that like you the look. design. Yeah, you can. Yeah, your design. Yeah. Okay, so you can just save the character design, and we just yeah. like transplant the character design to the new to our new selves in extinction. Because I'd like to keep those designs. We have different designs for aberration, and I think that's fun. Yeah. But I think once we we're gonna stop Ragnarok, we're gonna hopefully beat Ragnarok, and then we are going to move on to extinction. So I would like to keep those characters. Yeah, and I would like to be vulnerable as well. It's, yes. I mean, a Aberration was fun, just like yeah. those Ravengers were such a big deal. Yeah, mm. That's what shocks me the most. It's actually perfect. Playing Aberration makes me realize now that that is the way we should do it, where I six months ago I would have been like, what are you talking about? Why would we ever want to start over with the levels? But now I get it. Because it has been so yeah. much more fun oh just God. recently yeah. in Aberration. There's the, yeah, the For challenge me, there. Even yeah. it's like normally I don't like the challenge. That damn map. But you think, think you've gotten better at the game, right? And I'm enjoying the challenge, right? So, but yeah. it's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Really, That's yeah, tough. but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm enoying the operation map just yeah. for that. It's like, man, yeah. what a dangerous, like, nowhere feels safe. It's a great no. yeah. primer. <laughs> nowhere for, feels safe. Yeah, it's a great primer for extinction. But yeah, I, well, I mean, we don't know. Extinction may have, you know, a peaceful part like, yeah. when you first spawn in, like you know, like all the beaches on. It's a lot bigger map. too, right? But all, I'm not sure. Uh, I would imagine. I just look love at the and, size of those creatures. Yeah, it's it's like, got to be a lot bigger. It. Yeah, I love an aberration. Usually, like a lot of the death scenes I'm seeing aren't. Oh, a wolf ate me or something. It's a wolf started killing me, but then a bear ate me, and then <laughs> and then a piranha ate my and I was corpse tripping in the balls water. The whole time. Right. It's like seven things are trying to eat you at once. It's fucking monkeys. Oh god, the monkeys. <laughs> I love that. I it's, mean, that's not out yet, but it's it's almost like a bad luck server or a bad luck map. Like you're screwed anywhere you go. Yeah, uh -huh. which makes yeah, it makes kind of a trying to establish a base and trying to build your defenses up. It makes that more engaging. To yes. Me. How it's, much water? Like from I know the body of water that we're in now, but where can you take the boat? Like how that's far? It. In? Yeah. That's a lake. That's, it. that's, it's the lake. A, that's contained it. lake. There's no. Yeah. Hmm. But that's fine. I know it's fine. Just it would be nice. I love to that have. you have to you have to get off your boat or whatever, and you're in danger again. Yeah, we weren't even safe in the boat. That crab, those crabs. Yeah, man. you're not safe in the boat. They're spinos or crabs. Yeah, those crabs. Spinos haven't really been doing much. They're just there. They haven't really been doing much so killing. The sarcos. The sarcos are the dangerous thing because they can they can go to the speed go the speed of the boat. They're fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like you need to have some sarco defenses. Who's next? Should I go? I'll go. All yeah, right, go. Great. Yeah, you go. I'm next. I'm the answer. Um, Josh Polgar. Uh, this is on uh, Scrap Mechanic uh, Bomb Rockets. Yep. So they stopped playing GTA and Seven Days to Die to play Red Dead 2, but they're still uploading this stupid game. I personally <laughs> would rather suffer through watching Simon try to navigate through a game without any outside help than this boring-ass game. Well, don't, Opinions. Don't watch Scrap Mechanic. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to watch, don't watch it. Yeah. yeah, no one's good good forcing now. that upon you. Yes, from now on, you never have to watch it. Yep, right. We give you permission to not watch it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll even write Scrap Mechanic in the title so you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We should start doing that and use it Why in image too. Right. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, uh, yeah, with all these new things added, we've said this before. It, it's still fun. For yeah. a few of us. Yeah, the explosions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love the explosions. Like, still a lot of fun. Okay, for so for, for the more people who like it, yeah. give a little taste on what you think might be coming down the pipe. When What's, it comes down to mechanic? ideas. I'll, yeah, I'll and, get, and other get, ideas. I'll like get back got, to you on that. I'll come, oh, no, I'm just saying you guys have gotten... Just saying, to talk because about Because you, you can make, a, you can make an, a rocket now that'll explode. Well, yeah, we I can, can fire something at you that would blow you up. We can revisit tons of ideas, yeah, which no, is a I'll beautiful thing. for an example. Like, yeah, that, but that... Um, that like that the was an example. Bomber there planes. Go. And you gave it to me after... Bomber planes, planes with actual, actual bombs explosions. Now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so many things that we can revisit, I think, would be great. So, like, even if... Well, you know. Uh, 
Every Watch challenge all, we've done plus everyone. explosion. Yeah, exactly. We're just going to start from the beginning. Garbage trucks that explode. Yeah. I was I was still uh, the, the the battleship board you made was so impressive. Oh, thanks. I never fixed it, but I said that in the video, yeah. and some people were asking which mods we used, and I don't remember. Yeah. If, if, <laughs> guys, if, uh, there you guys, go. I, if, if you haven't watched it, guys, you got to check out the battleship build. Because <sighs> honestly, I was like, wow. And and most it worked for the most part. For the most part, it worked. It. I mean, I just looking at it, I go like, oh my god, the amount of work you put into that. So it was, was stupid. Insane. It was that post hurricane thing. Right. Some a lot of people accused you of not putting on the switches for your uh, things. I'm to... sure I did. Okay. There you go. Done. Settled. You know what a <laughs> thorough person I am. You're amazing. <laughs> you're an, you're mm -hmm. a, it's unreal. You're omnipresent. Ashley Bootzal. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Neebs, can you give me uh, dating advice? Her name is Brooklyn. By the way, my name is Caden, not Ashley. <laughs> Some are <laughs> confused. <laughs> she is the same age as me, and I am 12. She's nice to me, but my friends call her a bitch. Please help as long as Simon does not help. I will do fine with your help. I'm confused. Yeah, I won't help. Caden, not Ashley, likes Brooklyn. Okay. They're both 12. Right. Um, She's nice to him. Okay. But his friends think she's a bitch. Oh. oh what boy. more info do you 12, need? Uh, 12 years old. I don't, <laughs> I don't 12. think 12 year olds should be, you know, calling well, anyone he, he a bitch. No, you're right. Yeah. But they're going to. I mean, I know, but yeah, I don't. But, you're it, right. but, it's, yeah. but it's not. But it's not nice. It isn't nice. Yes. Your friends sound jelly. But Neebs, this is for you. Oh, tw oh yeah, twelve-year-old dating advice. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, don't be afraid to fail, man. Mm. Just get in there, befriend mm -hmm. this person. If it ain't working, it ain't working. There's uh, plenty yep. of ladies out there. Yep. Most people that uh, pr uh, call other people bitches or whatever, like you know, I call you guys bitches because oftentimes you guys are bitches. Mm -hmm. It's um, endearing, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's all love, but it's okay. It's different. Sometimes when there's we're insecurities doing it. and, and projection and involved. You'll learn those words and what they mean in time. You got this, killer. All right. Call your guy friends bitches. Just don't call the girls. Bitches. That's very true. No. Yep. Uh, Grant Nelson. This is going to be a really quick one. Really quick answer. Grant Nelson asks, "Where's the new commenting on comments?" It's here. You're, you're welcome. You're yeah. sitting in it. Next comment. Shania Booker. <laughs> um, that was the one to fill in your gap. For Should the I have you... Booker? Shania Booker. Oh, Shania. Uh, that Shania wasn't Booker. a question. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Why I'm does sure Duralius look Booker. like Jay Wow's husband? Say again. Why does Duralius look like Jay Wow's husband? I didn't know what Jay. I don't know much about Jay Wow. And My the... wife follows that dude. I don't. Um, Who's I don't Jay have Wow? An answer for why I She's look from Jersey Shore. Like him. Like, I couldn't answer why I look... Oh, I'm looking at him right now. Uh, no, I fellow, mean, if you a, squint. A yeah, by guy. the name of Roger Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, oh, maybe right yeah, there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, little yeah bit. I can yeah. see it. I can see it. I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, I don't know why it looks like him, but it's, it's, it's we, a we little We could run some there. tests. Yeah, why do you yeah. look like... You look like Shania. Maybe they're related <laughs> down, you know, down the line somewhere. Sure. Yeah. He looks like uh, <laughs> He looks like a fat-faced you. Give me time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and my final comment has a few replies underneath that I, I I thought it was uh, fun. This is off of the battleship one. The other, all the other ones were from the uh, bomb rockets. So, this is from Flavio Vink. Coming up after the next hurricane, Duralius invents real life teleporting and solves previously unsolvable theoretical physics problems out of pure boredom. And uh, replies from Visat ZS, uh, but doesn't bother to test it. Just because. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> then Dylan Starzik says, and he would say, I know this is cool, but it hasn't been tested. So similar. Then Mongo Swede says, most of your body arrives at the new location. <laughs> Just most of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, that damn hurricane and that build. That was a, that was a thing. So that's it for me. Hey. hey. Good comments. Man. You know, for, for last minute comments, not bad. Not too shabby. Nope. Those are really good. Thanks so much. Oh, should I go? If yeah. you want to, yeah. It's you, man. It's you. Go, Simon. Go. Oh, Simon. Pull your laptop up to your lap. Do it, Simon. Read the comments, Simon. Click that button. Put your glasses on. Read them. They're Read already them on. You didn't have to say anything, <laughs> but for some reason he wanted to dig at the fact that I I'm need just, glasses. I'm teasing. Simon puts on his slippers and his smoker jacket and cozies <laughs> up to his laptop. Puts his pipe in. <laughs> Lights of fire. <laughs> yes. Time to read comments. First, can somebody rub some ointment on my back? Snake oils, perhaps. Oh. So this, I, I did grab one from an... 
<laughs> I guess the arc episode puts that... in a where those <laughs> in his pipe. No, I just I want my butterscotch. His pipe's made of where those and my mint. All right, <laughs> Alex the live streamer says, and this is in the arc. Uh, where you got this animal, you'll understand what I'm saying when I'm done. Okay, Neebs and gang, your oh your Yudi has a certain amount of times it has to roar to scare certain animals. So two to three times to scare a Carno. If you want to recruit a Carno, you can use the roar opposite of the scare roar. Again, two to three roars, and you can only recruit regular Carnos. Lower level than the Yudi, wild Yudi usually have two to three wild Carnos. Carno allies. So a wild Carno will come to your assistance if you do that? Is that what you're saying? Apparently, if you roar a certain way, there are, you can have up to three wild Carnos be a part of the pack that will be essentially tamed from your animal. You will, they will join I believe so. the Yudi for eight. They're apes. tamed? Yes. Or t- and temporarily? Uh, temporarily, you know what? it seems. Right, okay, gotta, maybe it's temporary. I don't know. It. But whatever it is, it's good. Or maybe it slows them down enough where you can tame them easy? I don't know. I've, we got I've, we got tests to do now because I didn't yeah. realize you could roar three times and that that affects something. We oh, might so, be getting oh, trolled and too. You need, well, we but you might need be, to yeah. do. But I saw other comments about that how you, you guys need to roar <laughs> several <laughs> times more because the one is the minimum. You need to roar more. Okay, All so right. roar roaring more. more is like if you roar at a giga's tail, it will succumb to your ways. <laughs> yeah. and be your friend for Hit space bar, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that should be a shirt. It's space, space bar. bar. <laughs> yeah. It was so well delivered, though, Abstro. That was a very convincing yeah. sell. It's like, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'll do oh, it. yeah. No. And as soon as I touched it, I knew. As soon as I, as soon as I made contact, I was like, oh, oh it was gold. That was gold. Yes. God, that was yeah, good. Your scream is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just my favorite part is you're just angry at yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That, that, that thing's spinning, spinning now. That thing's spinning now. What? What? Whoa. Back up. Back up. What back started up. that Simon, shit? Hit space bar. Hit space bar. Okay. Oh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> oh. Donna uh, 1307 uh. says on, and this is on the last, uh, or the finale of seven days to die. That was freaking fantastic end to an exceptional series. They had a magnificent editing, as always. You outdid yourself, sir. It is truly sad to see the series end, but I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. Kisses. Yeah, you killed it on that one, Aiden. Yeah, yeah. great Aiden. job. Aiden. 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 Very nicely done. Aiden. Aiden. No, it taking was, a bow. It was, it was very oh, nice. Oh, you're nothing without us. Um, <laughs> real quick, speaking of seven days... So- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even... All right. Just comes out Simon, sometimes. Yeah. You have changed the landscape of Seven Days to Die. And I think our audience should know that one of the devs reached out to us and said, Hey, I heard Simon complaining that when you repair an item, it doesn't go back into its slot. Yeah. Um, when you're done repairing it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The guy fixed that. Isn't that great? Because of you. I and, and it was actually a, a, legitimate, very impressed by that, a legitimate yeah. complaint. Very much too. so. Very much. Because yeah, when you feel, if something's hot keyed and you fix it, it's yeah. just remaining just in right your back there. Sure. Yeah. Damn right. Yeah. And That's... also, I think the developer said he'd be willing to talk to Adahop about spectator things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yep. Because we'll go back to seven days eventually because we want to see where it goes. Yeah, right. the A17 I mean, well, that's going to be coming kinda, well, out. Well, yeah, I've got a comment that I was going to be talking about. No comment. Ada Hop's about like that. Steal your... He's like that redheaded girl in Arrival. It's like, we don't know anybody else that specializes in this particular topic. There's one man named Ada Hop that we can call on. Mm-hmm. Like how many other seven day spectator professionals are out there? He's the one. He's the only one. Yeah, he is the one. That's very true. There's a Russian kid out there. It's Ada Hop's rival. They hate each other. You should and, start uh, a school. Yeah. Uh, Ada. He's got a thin Maybe a black community mustache. college yeah. class. And he looks just like Ada Hop, but spectator with a thin black mustache. <laughs> yes. We need to do Shade yeah. Hop. You Spec should be you. The, you should be you should be Shade Hop for um for Halloween. Ada Hop. Yep. The the next uh, comment was from Black Fox saying, so is the next season when you guys are starting Alpha 17. Sure. So you guys are starting to talk about that. Ooh. And we, yeah, we don't know what the differences are going to be, but it's definitely possible. We're going to go back. Yeah, give us yeah. some time. We're going to pump out a lot more scrap mechanic. I'm most <laughs> excited joking. about that Goliath thing, whatever the hell it is. Goliath thing? The behemoth? The behemoth. 
Oh, and and because I feel days. like that there's a certain uh, increased amount of fear that would come with That's one of those big, big fuckers. Seven days needs more threats, sure, more types of threats, not yeah. just a thing that walks at you and yeah. kills you. Yeah. So the what what is it about the behemoth? It's like just a, a giant. It's a big. It's like a giga monster. Like a yeah. big thing. In that world, to see something big coming at you would be a big game changer. Yeah, the whole team would have to say, "All right, stop what you're doing. We we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna kill. Coming. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. But I want to see more threats. I want yeah. something swimming in the water that's dangerous. Yeah. I'd like to see uh, uh, something that either a plant or something. You just need different. You need a variety of threat. I be, agree. It'd be fun if there, yeah, a water threat that was like, you know, zombie. It was undead, of course, but they're kind of rare, but they're fast. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, if they lock onto you, it's, it's, you know, pretty zombie scary. mermaid. <laughs> yeah, zombie mermaid. That'd be fun. But you, you, for that to really, you think you'd want to be able to swim. You can't even swim in the game, right? It's just walking. Well, you're swimming. It kind of is. Yeah, yeah I guess. Hold yeah. space bar. And yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get your bob on. But I think it would be cool to have a different solution to, to different problems because pretty much you can either club to death or shoot to death everything that comes at you. It'd be nice to have something that requires a different strategy, like a dialogue, a dialogue of uh, whatever. Uh, a hocus pocus, a spell. It's a magic. Something. In there. Take note. <laughs> Add spells. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't done that. I do. Because it's stupid. It doesn't That's fit why. that world at all. Okay. <laughs> do you have another comment, Simon? Oh. Get out of this awkward break. Kyle Conkle. Conkle. That's a. That's his last that's a name. Strong that's name. Just, yeah. Conkle. Conkle. Yeah. That's a good name. What's up, Conk? Yeah, I guess that's all right. Conkle. Yeah, Conkle. Uncle Conkle. Uh, Conkle. Conkle. Thank you. Uncle Conkle. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm a 911 dispatch supervisor, and I can get a little stressful at times. On my breaks, I'll hide outside and watch you guys. Seven days is my favorite, but anyone will do for anyone will do the job. Thank you for helping me through hard days like today. I can only imagine. Cheers. Must be some crazy stories. Thank oh, you yeah. for the work yeah. that you do. But whew. and you kind of just have to get like numb. I'm sure you there's a level of numb, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're dealing with so much. Well, trauma I mean, you're and, you're the you're the person people call yeah. when they're in trouble and you, you yeah. have to stressed be. out. Man, no one ever calls you with a good story. Yeah. With, uh, I read well, out. I called I called nine one one like last week. I, every once in a while, I'll call just to say hi. <laughs> just to say yeah, hi. they love that. Uh, no, I'll see something. Then you go. You know <laughs> what? Because you can't call around here. You don't call the cops when there's something wrong. You can't be like, oh, I see somebody on the side of the road that needs assistance. They say, call 911, and you tell them. So so I've done that before. I'm like, all right, I see somebody in the ditch on the side of the road. I just drove past them. There's a bunch of cars lined up behind them. I don't know if somebody fell into the ditch because they had a seizure. I don't know if anyone's called the cops or anything, but somebody should probably check on the situation. And, and every time I do it, they always want to keep me on for, like, too long. I'm always like, you know, so I'm, giving, I'm just passing you along this information. I'm not there anymore. I just, just drove, drove by, by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then, but they have a series of questions. Of course, a minute later, after they're talking to you, they're saying, "Are you still there?" I'm like, no, I told you, I'm not there. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying, it's probably different here than it is in like cities. And then they keep oh, yeah, you on to offer you the 911 visa with well, like a right. They're offering you know, me a, yeah zero percent APR. APR for yeah. Like I mean, for <laughs> I mean, if the situation it uh, develops into something else, they've got an eye on the scene Eyewitness. for right. the for the authorities to know about. That's all I'm trying approach. to do. I'm just so saying, yeah. They'll know if something gets more dangerous or worse or whatever. They'll have that info. You know, it's crazy. Like, near us is the area code 919, and it's, it's really easy to, to mess that up and be calling 911 by accident. I, um, I, I've done it once. I've accidentally, years ago, called 911 when I was just were trying to... Were you cold? To, were you shaking? I don't know. You just missed the button. Just missed the button. Yeah. You know the 9 is... It's like in the complete opposite, opposite corner. Side I don't know how woman. it happened, but it happened. <laughs> yeah. Man, let me tell you. It's, You're a gem. You couldn't get further from that number. Could have been a rotary further. phone. All right, <laughs> sorry. I should have. I should have moved on. <laughs> oh, I watched a video the other day of uh, some kids trying a, a rotary phone. Oh yeah. And they didn't know you had to have it like picked up. Pick it up first. They dialed it while it was. <laughs> yeah. 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 Figured out. It was hilarious. Now I've dialed it. Do I pick the phone up? <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, out with the yeah. money.
Uh, that's <laughs> uh, pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. Nunya Business says, may we never forget the massacre of the of day 50 that Doralius <laughs> brought upon everyone. <laughs> yet it may be the best episode of any Neeb series yet. Absolutely hilarious. Thank you, Doralingus. That was yeah. the old double whams. Yeah, yeah. Old double, whams. <laughs> double whams. I still got a screen grab of that. I keep on my desktop of when... Doralis decided to go double whams and shoot a giga, <laughs> shoot a bring giga. a giga into the fight after they're already fighting a yeah, we'll carno. Do a double, whammy. <laughs> double whammy. We can double handle whams. one more. Let's bring we, the giga in. We yeah. need we need another five T Rexes, like quick. I'll don't get we? them. I can get them. We need more than what we have. You, get, the... you guys are still working on it, right? No, well, he's well, already he's already replenished what we've oh, lost. Maybe three or so. I don't remember. Yeah, I thought he did. I, I'll say close. this. I'll say this. I was in the server last night. Um, I was just showing my daughter Ark, and uh, close to our base, there is an all-purple T-Rex. I didn't see what level Ooh. it is, but an all-purple T-Rex. Oh, man. Pretty birdie. Name call, it Grimace. Call him, or Barney. Or Barney, yeah. yeah. Oh, Uncle yeah, Uncle Barney's Kunkle. a little better. Or what? Hmm? Uncle Kunkle. Uncle Uncle Conkle? Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. We'll forget. Exciting. Oh, I'm done. Uh, Wrap really? it up. Good run. Like that was a good run, Simon. Yeah. Yes, yep. I know, I know. I'll go I'm next. A professional. I guess so this this comment on comment episode comes out next Thursday, right before our new series that's gonna premiere, right? Are we bold enough just to say new series? I mean it's a new series. What if, what if everyone hates it? It's a, it's an attempt we'll see we'll see. An attempted series. We know yeah. how this goes. Yeah. They know look, how this goes. You, you got to learn from Simon, man. You got to downplay this stuff. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. You got to say, look, yeah. this is going to... This is going to stink. You got, hate you, got this. Some, yeah. you got some bullshit starting tomorrow that you're probably going to hate. There you but, go. Eh, yeah. Well, Aid is Come. editing it, right? Oh. But he, but unfortunately, he started using pills. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I tell you, skills have been going down hills. Skills, hills, pills. Hello. Huh? Yeah. You're on to something. I, I was I on to something. I, I Making a t-shirt. So. Skills, Hills, mm -hmm. and Pills. Mm -hmm. That's right. Skills, Hills, and Pills. T the t-shirt. Mm, I'm confused. You should be. Well, yeah, a lot of people, I guess we ended GTA, and we've ended seven days. Uh, we got other stuff coming. Right. Yeah, one well, and the new stuff coming is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to do another GTA just to confuse everyone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, but you've already talked about the other show that's going to be coming. Well, yeah, in GTA we teased so, Red Dead. Exactly. So we got Red Dead coming. We got... And then should we keep the other one a surprise? Have we talked to have we told anybody what we're doing? No, we probably told people in the stream what we were doing. We can probably. tell them now because the people who are here get the Just say get it. the it's inside, tomorrow. Whatever. Yeah, it's tomorrow. It's gonna it's suck. Conan. Yeah, Conan. How did you how do you say it? How do you say it? Conan. 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 I mean Conan. Conan. Conan, Conan, Conan the, the barbarian. barbarian. Conan the barbarian. So yeah, it's not Conan, Conan. Conan the barbarian. Conan. Is it Conan? Is it Conan O'Brien? Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien. Yeah, Conan, Conan, Conan the barbarian. Yeah. So Conan is the barbarian. Conan is the red-headed funny show. guy. Yeah. Still... All right. Good. Bam. Day. Glad we cleared that up. Oh, yeah. Bada bing. That's good. But yeah, we're starting Conan, so that should be fun. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, now uh, I got I got some comments. Uh, this is from the last G, uh, GTA video we did. Uh, this one's from Venator Princeps. It says, GTA Cinematic becomes RDR Cinematic. So does Rage Cop become Manic Marshall? And I don't know yet. Um... I'm not going to do uh, the, the Rage Sheriff kind of thing because the game really doesn't let you be a sheriff. Um, the, the way we were able to do that in GTA was we were able to, to mod the game, and that's a PC-only thing. And the game's not out on PC yet. So time will tell. So time will tell. If it, maybe eventually we'll do yeah. something like that. But uh, at first, no. At first, it's going to be something completely different. Pretty limited right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, mods. When that game comes on, oh, yeah, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna have Good Lord. the DeLorean that flies in that game. We're gonna have everything. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee someone they're, sure. they're gonna put yeah. cars in it. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want, you can put <laughs> dinosaurs in there. It's gonna be great. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is from Hamza Nadir that says, "Hey guys, next time on Red Dead, please don't waste time like you did in GTA V. I mean, you missed out on the last heist, the Doomsday heist, which in itself could be around five episodes, the gun running, import export missions, so much more." Please, please, please don't waste so much potential in Red Dead. P.S. I get multiplayer is your thing, but don't put single player in the shadow. Uh, make a video or two about it. Um, yes, we will. Uh, well, the thing with GTA is we kind of jumped in very late on that. And we very. developed our skills as we went, I think, with uh, the Rockstar editor and everything. Hopefully with Red Dead Online, we'll be able to jump in a little earlier. 
and we'll be able to do a much longer series. And like, I don't know if this is going to have heist. This is, we don't know what the multiplayer is going to entail yet. Oh, I do. What? Well, I can tell you, you know that there's going to, obviously there's going to be robberies and stagecoach shit. I mean, yeah, yeah. All that. it's going to be the, set in the, uh, right. in the old so, West. So I Train know. Train robberies, stagecoach robberies, that's, that's all got to be That's going to be, there. yes. Ex- well, there you go. But hopefully, yeah, bank robberies. I mean, I don't know if it's going to, if there's going to be a morality system. Like, uh, you've heard though, right? You heard that I, there I've was. heard that there, the rumors I've heard is that there is going to be some sort of morality system in there, but I don't know how far it goes. Does that mean you can go all the way and be like a bandit leader or can you be a sheriff? I don't know. Like, okay. or is it just like, oh, I'm a good bandit? Because in GTA, like, you're just a criminal. Like, no matter what you do, you're right. a criminal doing bank robberies and stuff like that. Does. Red Dead have a, uh, like, can you be a sheriff of a, one of the small towns? Like, or that'd be awesome. A shopkeeper. <laughs> yeah, just be a shopkeeper. I sell meat. <laughs> Come, I'm a butcher. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what the game's going to entail, what it's going to let you do, but, I mean, absolutely, we're going to do stuff with it. There's yeah. an online alpha uh, or something yeah, coming up? Yeah, I believe so, coming up. I don't know, yeah, I kind of I kind of want them to work all the bugs out before we jump in. Yeah. That's the thing, it's not going to be on PC for a bit. Yep. Um. So we're probably just going to be able to play on PlayStation 4 for a little while. And I also want to get the Rockstar editor. Like, I don't want to start the series, at least with all of us online, until the Rockstar editor is in place. Was the Rockstar editor editor not on GTA when it first came out? No. So they added that later. Yeah, that was an update down the pipe. So, And that's what I imagine is going to happen with this one. It's going to be an update down the pipe. Got to be on PC first. Anyway. Oh, yeah, if uh, if we're all playing. Right, but for the editor. Well, no, not on, necessarily. Oh, really? no, the editor can be on the uh, yeah. The oh, I did not know that. You can mod it oh, that's to, pretty cool. to get better shots. I had no yeah. idea. And that's kind of the downside of uh, yeah, being having or well, but, that, but that's the thing. We don't know what the editor is going to be capable of this time. Maybe you can get a wider shot than last time. That'd be cool. Because in GTA with the editor, you were kind of you were locked pretty close to your character, and we had to modify it so we could kind of break the camera from that lock and get wider shots. And God, you know they're proud of that envir- all those environments. It's oh, they, just, oh, they should it's be. It's Holy shit. No, the art design yeah. in that game is fantastic. Oh I've been God. I've been playing it as much as I can. Have you I been don't. to the city yet? Uh, no, I'm close, I think. Wow. Because the mission I got to was like, you know, we need to go into the city. I can't imagine. Man. Yeah, Fuck. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Because it, it's got to be such a drastic change just environmentally and graphically from the rest of that world. Yeah. I mean, just the, the, the start of the game where, and I'm not going to spoil any story stuff here, but you're just in the snow with your, yeah. your gang members. Yeah. And the snow is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It's like, Neebs, I know you don't like snow, but I mean, just oh. the way the snow moves and, and the looks the sound, in this if you hear that, just yeah. the walking through it, it's so real and Feels genuine. Feels good. Just the, the sound of the environment, the wind, everything. Looking I mean, they, back they, at they nailed it as far as just the design of this thing. Yeah. The only thing oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we were talking about is... Uh, the, the the animal torture. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even like the way the animals die in this game. You know, in most in like the old games, like boom, you shoot the animal. Oh, the animal's dead, and I can go over it. I can skin it. I can get its pelt. But this one, if you don't kill the animal in the first shot, it like writhes around in pain. Yeah. And it's it's it's, 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 it's hard. It feels so bad. To it's hard. Yeah, it hurts. Mm-hmm. Makes yeah. you focus. Maybe you know. It's uh, different than when you kill a deer in seven days. Right. Yeah. yeah. With, with the deer in seven days. Good morning. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> funny looking thing with yeah. the legs kicking around yeah yep. <laughs> I um just one little detail I'm sure you probably dealt with it last night I experienced it um I'm sure it happens throughout the game but um kind of like uh in Tombstone uh the whole hat thing like last night I shot a guy's hat off I shot his cowboy yeah. hat off yeah it was, yeah. was cool yeah I, I wanted to hit him in the head right but uh but it's a great detail hat, hat, it's a great way like, to be like oh shit awesome. i was close just that little thing i like have you have you noticed your character can lose your hat no i think that's kind of like if, if you get in a fight or uh, scuffle with somebody a lot of times your hat will fly off oh, okay oh, yeah I, I did see that i played about 30 minutes of it so yeah. Yeah, yeah i got in a scuffle i had to pick my hat back up but yeah i think that's neat it's like after you you know you go around you whoop everybody's ass after the fight's over you're like you walk back up to your hat you pick it up and you put it back on it's like it feels very cowboy <laughs> yeah right yeah. like oh i'm done with the fight that's neat. It'd be great yeah. if you could do that with like a lady's bonnet like you see some girl fight the girl's still laying on the ground <laughs> yeah i'm gonna put get on, 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 on it he just yeah. picks it up Puts it on. Yeah. It's mine now. <laughs> That's a tough man. Go around yeah, and beat up women man. and take their bonnets. <laughs> and with the animal thing, the worst thing I've seen, though, is yeah, I, was just, I was just riding in the town and I ran over a dog with my horse. And oh. it's like, oh, one of the, yeah, the dogs have just died, but you look back at it and it's just in the middle of the road. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. Like, Jesus Christ, oh, Rockstar, man. what are you doing to me? Yeah. But you know what annoys me is that the humans don't do it. Like, you can shoot a guy in the leg. 
after a few times, and then the guy will die. Oh, it's like, that, that, that's kind of bullshit, right? Yeah, they I should mean, have definitely like, gone. There yeah, leave with the that. animals out of it completely and just do the people. Or no, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go that route with the animals, well, which they I do, think's well, great. I'm saying because it, it it makes. I don't know. Like it, it makes it a lot it more makes, real. It makes I, the hunting better. It's like you want to kit, get yeah. that on the first the kill, kill shot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, um, I was just about to say. But that. Yeah, with the humans, like the same way. It's like I want to shoot a guy in the kneecap and then like shoot his uh, gun out of his hand and then watch him like struggle on the ground. Like, don't shoot me, Mister. Yeah. You know, I want to. No, I want to have that option as a player. Yeah. And I'm, I'm surprised I do they didn't go that far. And I, you I, want I, that person to have family that either mourns or comes after you. <laughs> yeah. Afterwards. Oh, I was man. just saying, that if you were gonna, crazy. if you had to have one, I would have taken out the animals and had the humans. I want to have both. Yep. Yeah. But, I mean, if they're doing shrinking balls, you I've think they been, can do both? Take yep. out the shrinking balls, even though that's nice. Right. Get Put the, the shrinking balls to the people getting shot in the knee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a fun talking point when that came. That news came out. I mean, it's just it's novelty, but um. I just kept. I've been thinking about Sheriff Bonnet this whole time. <laughs> Sheriff Bonnet. I was thinking an outlaw, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, some, his brother. What's, what's some crazy about? outlaw that wears a bonnet. <laughs> the Bonnet Brothers. Oh, yeah, one's an outlaw. <laughs> yeah, sheriff. One's a sheriff. We need to do a cartoon. Not we. Somebody. Somebody else can do it. Uh, but yeah, the Bonnet Brothers. And his whole thing is like, look, it doesn't fly off my head when I ride my horse. Yeah, it's it's a better yeah, hat. It's, it's a better hat. It's you waterproof. Can tie it. Keeps yeah. the sun out of my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I but like if you it. want it to be tied, why don't you just like tie it? I like the way the bonnet hat. feels. It's well, made out of a nice material. Well, that's it. It okay, well, that makes easies. sense. Okay, okay. Well, cowboy right. hats do have those strings with the with the yeah, yeah, well, we're talking about. Then yeah. let's do the skit right now. <laughs> Somebody will play the person who likes the bonnet, and then everyone else will play people who don't. Well, like, what's what's up with this guy? No, okay. All right, who's the sheriff? Remember we used to? Yeah, there you go. Remember we used to play like this. Who is the sheriff? Well, then we we cut it and put sound effects. I'll cut it. And I'll cut it and I'll make it an audio thing. I'll put music to it. Okay. Oh, I'll all make right. it. I'll make it an audio. Who am I playing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll we'll, be the storekeeper. Who's you a, could be the storekeeper. Yep. We got to set the setting. This who's is something. Johnny Bonnet. Uh, yeah. Who? You know what? Do uh, you want to be? You could be Johnny Bonnet. I'll, I'll be Johnny Bonnet. Okay. I'm wearing the bonnet. So you can come in. We could all be kind of talking, and then you're gonna come in and rob the place. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a sheriff. Oh, we're in the store? Maybe. I don't know. You said you're the storekeep. I'm just, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I wasn't at out. the store, though. I was just happened well, to I be. I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what we were planning. Well. How do we want to do it? You're the director. Yeah, am I? Okay. All right. So maybe we are actor. in the store. Maybe you are the storekeep. We're in the store. We're having a little conversation between the few of us, and he's going to come in and try to rob the place. Wearing a bonnet? And he's got a bonnet, and we've, we don't even know who he is. Maybe you can come in and announce yourself. Is one of us the sheriff? Um, happens to be maybe yeah, off duty. Yeah, one of you. Who, who? Who? I don't want to be the sheriff. I'll be the sheriff. My my only concern is that this isn't going to be very relatable since it's not. It's a thing just we made up in our heads. Oh, mm-hmm. it's not relatable. It's mm-hmm. us. Tra- it's I'm fun, trying. It's fun. It's okay. fun. Yeah. I'm trying okay. to have. Okay, let's go on. exercise. I'll be you know, sheriff. It's, it's an acting you're Johnny exercise. Bonnet. I'm Johnny Bonnet. You're Sheriff yep. Bonnet. Okay. Oh, and we're just. Oh, uh, we are both. Bon- <laughs> you both wear. No, we're brothers. That's the thing. Like. We, we talked about this. You're the shopkeep. I'm the shopkeep. And you are. And I work. I work for the shopkeep. And we're just, maybe, um, and I'm just hanging yep. out. Or God, I could be okay. Or maybe me and you can be with each other. We're yeah. brothers, and we're we're buying stuff for the farm. Yeah. Okay. There you yeah. Go. We need. To maybe have we're it. secret lovers too. <laughs> Nobody knows that in town because okay. we knew we'd. So we say ask. we're brothers. <laughs> we're lovers. <laughs> You okay. I like it. All right. Okay. So, so who's Sammy, starting it off? Yeah. Set the scene. You got some ambience of a western town. Western town. Yeah. All right. You guys are in the store talking. Let's go. Yeah. We're in the store. Shopkeep. Uh, well, if it isn't the Simon Brothers. Yeah. Uh, we were wondering if you had any flowers and whatnot. And how much is this chaw? Chaw? You've never bought chaw before here. Well, I'm about to, huh? If you got some. Oh. All right, all right, everybody stick them up. Oh no, it's Johnny Bonnet. That's right, it's me, Johnny Bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've never heard of this. Why are you wearing a bonnet? Cause it's comfortable. But you look weird. I don't care if I look weird, I'm a criminal. Why would I give a shit? What do you mean you never heard of this? His name is Johnny Bonnet. <laughs> He knew him by name. I regret everything that, that and this is all my idea. Everything that we've done, I completely I haven't regret. even come into the scene yet. I know, but I want you to go. Okay, go. okay. Sheriff Bonnet, why don't you say something? Because I'm just entering. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sheriff Bonnet enters. Thank God Sheriff Bonnet got here. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, oh, he's oh. got it. 
See you, shopkeeper. Yeah, you, that's fine if he steps outside, takes his phone call. <laughs> Stick him up. <laughs> Sheriff, do something. You well, just walked in. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged into town. Well, if it isn't my brother, Sheriff Bonnet. And my brother, Johnny Bonnet. <laughs> hey, we're brothers, too. What brings you to this? <laughs> I wonder if they fuck. <laughs> You guys don't have to sleep with each other. <laughs> Not anymore. So you're sheriff now, huh? That's right. Wowie wow. Stick them up, sheriff. You stick them up. <laughs> I got a gun too, boy. We got guns too. Stick them well, up, guys. Oh, well, hell, it's a Mexican standoff. That's Who's going right. to kill who? I might shoot myself because this is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing I'm out. <laughs> yeah, me too. Later, y'all. <laughs> Bye, world. Well, looks like my job here is done. <laughs> hey. hey. Well, See, that worked out. That's, yeah, no, that's great. Exercise. That's great. God, we're okay. so good yeah. at improv. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then we would do that like 30 more times and realize it's not good enough to animate uh, and then right, move yeah, on. Easily. Yeah. But instead, <laughs> yeah. So I hope someone animates that. Really I great. hope somebody, <laughs> I hope somebody sees Absar on the street and says, "Hey, it's Johnny Bonnet." <laughs> yeah. I can't wait until it's you know someone animates it, which yeah. they obviously are yeah. going to, and then the probably shopkeeper Pixar. gets his phone call. Pixar is probably going to do it. <laughs> Pulls yeah. out his, yeah. his iPhone. In the middle of this, I gotta go. I got a phone call. Oh, you missed it, Neebs. Oh, oh man, man. They wrapped it wrapped up. Really Academy. turned into something special. Yeah. Shopkeep got a I was afraid I was going to get shot. So, uh, um, yeah, my wipers aren't working on my truck. So, so, uh, so and your it truck rains. called you? What? Yeah. It's it's a new update. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my 91 your pickup car calls you and tells you what's updates. wrong with it. It's amazing. Yeah. There are people alive listening to this right now who are uh younger than your vehicle. Yeah. A lot. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, when pe- do you get classic are, plates on that? I think we've maybe I don't talked. Know. I like, get a letter from the state every year wanting to charge me years. more more money for my truck. Yeah. They go, hey, old. this might be like a classic collector's truck. We, you might not be paying us enough taxes. But I'm you like, pay less in insurance. I'll pay less. It's, it's an old, rusty truck. I know, but I'm just truck. saying, you pay less for insurance when you, have, rebate when you have classic. I pay less on everything. It's an old, rusty truck. Well, I'm saying you pay even less yeah. when you have classic. Oh, really? I believe. Huh. I believe that is the case. Well, then they probably tax you more, don't they? I think it works out better in Man, your favor. You unless you drive it a crazy amount of miles, because it might limit, it might be like 12,000 miles a year or something that you're allowed to drive. Great information. Entertaining. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. actually Let's stay on it for okay. a little bit by that. Yeah. Anyway, my wiper blades, like when you have a truck that old, just, just, you just deal with stuff all the time. Sure. But, uh, but like sometimes when I turn, I'll turn left or right. I'll turn my signal on. The wiper blades go. You just get used to it. Then they'll stop. And then, but here recently, it's raining. The wiper blade just stops halfway up. Now, not only is it raining, I got a wiper blade right in my eye line. Not good. I wouldn't. Don't feel bad about like my uh, my car's got uh, auto a setting for wipers. Like it knows when it's raining. Uh Yeah, yeah. But sometimes they just (laughs) when it's not raining, they'll wipe. Yeah, pure sun. Sunny day. Ah, yeah. One little random. Ah, like great. Looks perfect. like it could rain. I'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> yeah, it's yep. getting dust Just warm off. Up Who knows? The old wipers. Yep. So you know, time. You know. Can't be too careful. Are you done with yours, Epsor? No, I, I, I got one more. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, here. This is a comment from 19 Venom 80 plays that says, "This is why you guys have 1.7 million subs. Amazing work. I can't wait for the next series on Red Dead 2." Who knows, maybe one day I'll get on commenting on the comments as I never made the Battlefield Top 20 anyway. You did it. You did it. Yeah. That's right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. That's right. great. Oh, wow. And yeah, it's like I like to I like to think we have the amount of subscribers we have because we make some fun stuff. You'd hope so. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah, we'll be making some more fun stuff. That's our job. That's why you get that's why you people pay us. Dig them right. And we love it. Has anybody seen Venom? The movie? No. no, I have no interest. Nor do I. Which I, is, interesting. I, usually, usually I love comic book movies, but this one I'm just like, I could give a shit. I didn't want to see it. Now I want to see it. Mm. I would see it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. Yeah. That's great. More than I've wanted to see a movie in a while. Yeah, I'd like to see that. I'm considering mm-hmm. seeing that the first couple of days it's out. I started watching Ant-Man versus Wasp, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even finish it. I wasn't interested in that thr- about, that trailer either. About halfway through, I was just like, "Yeah, I'm done." Yeah. It was just, 
I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm sure like the thing is, I'm sure that movie's just fine. Yeah, you know it's just I, mean? I think the Red Letter or... Media guys, uh, that's another channel I watch. Uh, they, I think they nailed it when they were like, it just, it looks like it'll be just okay. Yeah. And I'm, and uh, it's it'll, like, it'll pass the time. You, you, you've seen that movie already. You yeah. Know? You saw, you so saw much. the first Ant Man. You've seen the second one. It's, it's a just different like, comic eh. book. It's just yeah. like, you know, like, oh, okay, even though it's the same, it's just another and it's comic. A, I mean, another that's episode. the thing with Marvel now. It's like they've, they've, They've done so well with the big ensemble cast yeah. movies, and I love seeing those. Yeah. yeah, like I want to see a movie where you know it's Iron Man and Captain America, or it's Thor and uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're off on space adventures. Like, yeah, give me more of that. But just Ant Man, or now even Iron Man, or any any of them by themselves is like it's not exciting anymore. I like it. Yeah. Well, like Spider Man was kind of a the home- scaled back. Yeah, Homecoming. And I loved it. Yeah. But I mean, Iron Man was in it. Yeah, yeah, it was good, but I'm sure Ant Man's good. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I mean, the Marvel movies, like, I never, I've not walked out of any of them going, well, that was a piece of shit. Right. But, I just, I couldn't do it. it well, just... we're spoiled. I feel like I'm spoiled. We yeah. are. Like, well, we're that's, absolutely that's what it is. desensitized the we whole are. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think them. I'm spoiled. I think it's just, there's something about that Ant Man vibe. It's, just, it's not the movie I want to see. No, but we're spoiled. I think you're saying we're spoiled in the sense of everything's just got to be fucking great. In our, in our minds to the point of like, you know, you can't creep into, you can't like let three episodes of a series like, okay, like kind of slow with most people. It's like you haven't grabbed me quick enough, so I'm out. So a movie, if a movie hasn't grabbed me quick enough, I'll be like, eh, it's not good. And a lot of people, I think, are that way these days because entertainment's so... It's why I've been enjoying like that Mandy movie and uh, Eighth Grade because it's they were just, they're like fresh you know, yeah, that different. indie kind of vibe, but it's just, yeah, it's just... Well, the Marvel movies, I mean, what, they've been doing it for 10 years now, Sure, right? they've had a yeah, good it's run. Like, yeah, it's like, got it. okay. As I, and, and I think after the, I'll probably, it's going to be hard to get me to watch any more of them after the, the, the next Infinity War. Right. I want to see what happens there. But, yeah. like, but after that, I'm be like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I, I could do with or without them at that point. Yep. But I mean, yeah, they've Marvel's done such a good job, and what a great run! Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's like I'm I'm burnt out on it. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a bazillion maybe. characters. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I, it's, but it's fun to see them all working together towards a goal. Like I thought, Infinity War was fantastic. It's so impressive how yeah. they. I still they feel like work. no one's done a good. Uh, well, two mo- two t- different type of superheroes. No one's did a good teleportion teleportion teleportation type movie. Like a person that can. Teleport to me is really cool. Well, Doctor Strange is yeah in that realm. He He does that. Yeah, but that's not his thing. But like, what was that movie with uh, Darth Vader in a while back? Jumper or something? Yeah, Looper. Oh yeah, Jumper. Right, Jumper. Jump loops. Looper. Looper. Looper jumps. Fruit loops. Um, Looper's great. It was okay. I mean, I mean, it it was had so much more potential. Yeah, sure. Uh, Like Night Nightcrawler. Doesn't he teleport? Nightcrawler does teleport. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see a really good Nightcrawler movie. Um. Or a really good Quicksilver or Flash movie. Tone it down. Make it simple. Make it great. Okay. I'd be into seeing everything there that you, you just said. Because mm. why not? What you got, Pick? Ooh. Uh, I have a comment from Freddie Mills. It's from the latest ARC video, uh, which is the Boss Queen glitch. Ah. Talking about you, Simon. Says, don't know about you guys, but I think Simon finally earned a seat in first class. Man is becoming a legend with each passing day. You done good, son. I can hold that yep. shield up like first class, almost yeah. everyone else that could, but yeah. I'll take a first class yep. seat. He's the best shield maiden you could ask for. Yeah, mm. I'm glad that that worm took like two hits to die. Which yeah, that was that, that was shot over. That was two separate days. Yeah, the first day we shot it, we just ran into the glitch, and it was just like, oh. Because we had to roll back the server. It took a long time to set that back. Yeah, which we got lucky because, um, like, the otters and everything, we didn't have to get those again. Yeah. Or, yeah, we, like, we were we were All the prepping up. we had done yeah. was there when we got when yeah, we reset it. Yeah, nice. Because you never know, nice. when you reset a server, Yeah, you don't, I mean, well, with us, I guess if you yeah. save it and you, you, you're you responsible, uh, you go back to the time that you prepared for, but we didn't save. Right. We were at the mercy of whatever the autosave was. Yeah. Yeah, and we had to stream that night. Yep. So we had to stop. That moment, though, when that ice worm comes up for the first time. Oh, God, it's great. That was great. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's oh, just, yeah. It's so big. So it's fast. Wonderful it comes out quick. Too. Holy shit. I even knew that. I knew it was coming, but, uh, yeah, Anthony did a good job on that edit. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's great. And that was one of the few episodes, like, you don't see many episodes like that now where we're all together for the entirety mm-hmm. of the episode. Yeah. It's nice every now and then. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Although it was fun. 
It was a nice break because mm-hmm. you know, we normally do uh, A story, B story, and this was a nice just no, we're all together all, all on this one mission. Yep. Right? Yeah, you don't want to send five people to get metal. Right. Where were we? Uh, we're on my next comment, which is Ross DeVore. Um, in that video, we talked about Wendy's. Absar, you made a comment. Yeah. You made a comment about uh, mm-hmm. the, the Wendy's girl. Mm-hmm. Ross says, FYI, when Dave Thomas opened the first Wendy's, Wendy, a.k.a. Melinda Lou, was eight years old. So no now, worries, though. She's 57. Now. Yeah, you're Perfect. fine, buddy. Yeah, fine. She's, she's, she's exactly. a MILF. Yeah. She's a MILF. She's a MILF. That's what yeah. we were talking they're just, about. They're white <laughs> braids now. That's fine. Uh, Warheart gave us a comment that says, I'm torn. Normally, watching you guys make no meaningful progress is frustrating yet entertaining. However, watching you all succeed almost effortlessly is well, unnaturally, and frankly, unsatisfying in a way. What video? Probably the ice worm. The ice worm. Okay. You all clearly cheated. Zero out of ten. I'm unsubscribing. Right. right. Well, that thing did go down ridiculously fast. It was way faster than I thought it was. We had good weapons. We did. Somebody's been keeping their blueprints. Yeah. I keep all my blueprints. And that fucker was on fire. The shotgun that I have is actually something I found in a drop. It's one of the, the... the two barrel shotguns. Yeah. It does like six hundred yeah, percent no something damage. Right. Yeah, yeah. I had an ascendant rifle. Yeah. You yeah. had an assault rifle. I had an ascendant assault rifle that I found in a drop. Well, there you go. I've had it. Yeah, but who knew that it would still be that easy? Yeah, no, it's still kind of no, odd. I was expecting cool. like a like Me a too. five minute, ten minute fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were just as kind of surprised and a little bit disappointed. Yeah. Like yeah. I was hoping the fight would be tougher. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, zero out of ten, fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, unsub, thanks. <laughs> preach <laughs> much preach cream preach <laughs> cream preach all right uh the next comment is from the last spider-man video which was the end of it uh so is there going to be a s- second game cool will it have two spider-mans will it have the green goblin for sure will mary jane finally give her butt to spider-man <laughs> that was the whole theme like she was awful in the game like Somebody made a point that, yeah, she wasn't just like the damsel in distress, yeah. so she was a good character, but having to play as her was so having, frustrating. Having to play as her was frustrating. Yeah. From from just a gameplay point of at least for me. If it's a it's 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 a Spider Man game, and I get that Mary Jane's always a part of Spider Man's story, but playing as Mary Jane inside of a Spider Man game is not fun because it's a yeah, it's just a forced stealth mission. Ugh. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, and I and I I get it. It's like, you know, the the hills and valleys types that you need the ups and downs, yeah. but like to bring it so far down. Yeah, but you can do ups and downs with Spider-Man. I mean, you yeah. can have stealth missions with Spider-Man. Yeah. Where and, and I think they do exist where it's like, oh, I got to be sneaky this time. You got to walk around. You got to web guys up into the rafters. It's like, okay. Or cool. just Spider-Man uh, grocery shopping. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Spider-Man stuff, shoplifting. He was poor. Stuff. Aaron Day. Yeah, yeah Aaron. Yeah. Maybe if Rockstar, Mow the yard. if Rockstar made a Spider-Man game. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to go. I got to dress up as Peter Parker and go to the store. <laughs> I got to keep fed. Sometimes you have to go to court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we talked about Spider-Man. Yeah. He's always Rudy, involved yeah. in something, yeah. some mm-hmm. sort of robbery. Or... Sure, there's a lot to talk about. In He's got to be a witness at a lot of things. <laughs> Does he come in with the mask as a witness? Can you even? Mm, no, a... I don't think. I don't know if the court would accept that. Well, apparently they don't administer oxygen to him without, uh, or <laughs> right. without his mask off, just over top of the mask. Or, yeah, yeah that, oh, over it top works. of the mask. Sure. Spider-Man's here. Put him on the table. We'll help him. Yeah. I'd imagine How, several right, hundred lawsuits it. are coming his way after yeah. this, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is my favorite comment off the same video. Bambi W says, just got a new puppy named Neebs. Mm. Hey. I would I would have named him Absro, but after yelling it across the yard, the neighbors thought I was yelling asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That makes yeah, sense. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations on your puppy needs. Oh, the pops. Yep. Oh, your booze. Oh, your booze. Oh, your booze. I recommend that everybody go out and get a puppy now. Right. Today. Rescue. Get a rescue. Yep. Uh, October 30th. 2018 is Neebs tells you to get a puppy day. It could be Ooh. Ooja Booja day. Ooja Booja day. If you can take care of it. Yeah. yeah as long as you can. Yeah. yeah. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Try this. Um, yeah. For, for Neebs, your new puppy. Um, this part coming up in just a couple seconds. Hold it to the puppy's ear. Oh, ya booja. Oh, ya booja. I bet you that little tail's wagging right now. Oh, ya If it has a tail, it might be one of those dogs that don't have a tail. Well, they got the nubs. They still have the nubs. The nubs wag. wag. It's like Anthony's dog that he brought in. I thought mm-hmm. you were going to say it's like Anthony. Thing. No, not Anthony. <laughs> you know, Anthony's got that little He's got nub in the back. When he gets excited, it wiggles a lot. Every time a new fighting game is going to drop, 
<laughs> at the base of his spine just wiggles. Yeah, someone sells <laughs> someone sends him a duck as a present and he just yeah. You mentioned a good graphics card. He pees on the floor a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He does. He does. Well, yeah. Are we, is that are it? We, that's it. Awesome. That's it. That's it. We want to thank Ridge Wallets for sponsoring this podcast. Once yeah. again, links in the description. Go there. Free shipping. Uh, on Can't beat Yeah, it. yeah. Know, especially seriously. with it being five to ten thousand dollars, he says. <laughs> Uh, God bless them. It's amazing they're still in business. Yeah. How do they pull that off? If but. you really want to do it right, fly yourself to China if you're like in this side of the world and then get it shipped to you. Get your Just money's so you worth. Can, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Ridgewallets.com forward slash Neebs. Forward slash Neebs. Like, like the dog. Yeah, like the dog. <laughs> or like you. <laughs> oh, <Ooh-ya-boo. laughs> Look at Neebs' little nub wiggling. No, I know. It's weird. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody.